I'm Marty Stauffer. What keeps a beaver cool in summer, a fox warm in winter, and lets a possum just hang around? Thin or fat, long or short, it's the tail. Animals have devised uses for their tails, which are as multifaceted and often as surprising as the animals themselves. Some hightail it away, while at the same time alerting their friends to do the same. Others send a suggestion of retreat to their enemies. All this is just the beginning. With only a tailbone, it's hard for we humans to imagine just what a tail can do. Tails may come last, but they're certainly not the end of the story. Join me now, and we'll get the long and the short of it in our Tale About Tails. One of the most feared tails in the forest is small and bushy, and feared not for what it does, but for what it represents. Like all skunks, this striped skunk would prefer to be left alone as it hunts for insects and flowers, small rodents, even snakes. A relaxed tail indicates a contented skunk. cats, as in most mammals, the tail also indicates mood. This cougar is an active hunter, though perhaps a bit more discriminating than the skunk. Threatened, the skunk arches its back and stamps its feet. When it raises its tail, watch out. Skunk's spray is a last resort, and for this cougar, a warning is enough. A close-up look at a porcupine would seem to be sufficient to intimidate intruders. Like skunks, porcupines give a ritualized warning that involves the tail. First, the porcupine raises the quills on its back and quivers its tail, which produces a rattling warning sound. If that doesn't work, the spiny tail becomes a formidable weapon. This bushy-tailed marten, however, does not heed the warning. Inquisitive to a fault, the marten will stick its nose into just about anything.
Martin was an easy challenge. Another porcupine is a more serious matter. porcupine cannot shoot its quills, but one lash of its muscle-packed tail can embed them up to an inch into an opponent's flesh. The quills are actually modified hairs that are controlled by a sheath of muscle beneath the skin. Because the quills are barbed, they're painful and hard to remove. These two porcupines demonstrate that they are as tenacious as they are prickly. The beaver possesses a most versatile tail. Flat and scaly, it serves its owner in a number of ways. When hot, blood flow to the tail is increased, thereby cooling body temperature. Likewise, restricted blood flow can help to keep the beaver warm. When swimming, the beaver uses its tail as a rudder or as a paddle if extra speed is required. Moose often come to beaver ponds to feed on the new tree shoots stimulated by beaver-style forestry or on aquatic vegetation. This beaver does not seem to appreciate the attention. The famous slap of the beaver tail warns of nearby intruders. A look at domesticated pets often displays tail behavior similar to their wild cousins. It appears as if this cat may be onto something. While in hiding, a cottontail keeps its tail low and hidden. When flushed, the fluffy white tail diverts predator attention from the rabbit's more vulnerable head. A cat with a raised tail is excited and often on the hunt. It takes only a split second for the pursuer to find itself pursued 
by a rambunctious black lab. Tree climbing is one of the cat's best defenses. Though foiled, this pup's active tail shows that it has enjoyed the thrill of the chase. All domesticated dogs have wolves in their ancestry. In the highly structured society of the wolf pack, Tail position and movement are major forms of communication and especially useful when displaying rank. Wolves are reminded of their places within the pack when they greet each other. A low tail is the sign of submission. The loose tail wags that will follow this encounter suggest that the wolves are content with their social arrangement. The fox is a close relative of the wolf and much more common in the wild. As this young kit is still learning, the fox's fluffy tail is essential for balance. Like the fox, the squirrel uses its twitching, bushy tail for balance. Squirrels have successfully adapted to life in backyards throughout the country, and squirrel watching invariably involves tail watching. Squirrel tails are used for both balance and blanket. The tail can be raised over the head to provide a parasol on sunny days and an umbrella on wet ones. For most birds, tails are as vital for flight as are wings. Some, like the wild turkey, have a decidedly romantic idea about tail plumage. The turkey's black striped fan is a call to courtship as is the distinctive flicking tail of the Franklin's grouse. And when courting, the sharp-tailed grouse really shakes its tail feathers. Grasshopper mice are not known for their tails, 
but for their vicious dispositions. On the other hand, scorpion tails are world-renowned. Unchanged for millions of years, this deadly design includes a sharp and poisonous stinger. The tail is typically shot forward over the scorpion's back. Understandably feared, a scorpion sting can be quite painful to humans, though it's rarely fatal. Smaller victims, however, are often paralyzed or killed by the scorpion's powerful venom. America's only marsupial, the opossum, or just possum, has a prehensile tail, that is, a tail capable of grabbing. Usually nocturnal, the possum likes to hang out in trees where it gathers fruits, especially persimmons. Moles are also active at night. With poor eyesight, they feel their way through the world. The bizarre appearance of the star-nosed mole is due to the 22 little feelers on its nose. This busy hunter also has a useful tail in which it stores excess food as fat to be converted back to energy in lean times. A mole's tail is also used as a digging aid and as a guide for beating a hasty backwards retreat. seemingly all tail, earthworms are important soil aerators. And though it may not look like an appetizing meal to us, a fresh worm is the kind of delicacy a mole can savor. Indeed, earthworms are the staple of most mole diets. Some animals are known for, indeed, recognized by their distinctive tails. The aptly named ringtail is one. Camouflaged by its bandit mask, the ringtail is a voracious eater of rodents. In fact, in earlier times, this so-called miner's cat was used to clear miners' cabins of mice. and the familiar tale of its cousin, the raccoon, is probably most famous for its role as Davy Crockett's coonskin cap.
The bison is large and powerful. Nonetheless, it can be bothered by the smallest of pests and thus has an active fly swatting tail. The pronghorn has a tiny stub of a tail. It signals danger by flaring its entire white rump. The raised tail of a white-tailed deer is a signal to others, including its own offspring, to hightail it away. The frightening sound of a rattlesnake's tail developed to alert passers-by of where not to step. The unheeding and the curious, like this peccary, can count on a venomous bite. Loosely interlocked segments produce the famous rattle. A new segment is added each time the snake sheds its skin, though because the segments break off, a rattlesnake's tail does not indicate age. This glass lizard looks like a snake, but it's actually a legless lizard. Through a process called autotomy, it can regrow its tail when lost to a predator. Some lizard tails continue to thrash about when detached, thereby occupying the predator's attention and giving the original owner even better odds for escape. Yet there's no escaping the fact that the largest American reptile, the alligator, possesses a powerful tail. It becomes a weapon when a black bear happens into the neighborhood. seems happy to stay out of the picture. What an alligator starts with its tail, it can finish with its mighty jaws. Though it looks as if it could be a miniature member of the alligator's reptilian family, this long-tailed salamander is actually an amphibian. This leopard frog is also an amphibian. Though, as an adult, it has no tail at all. It is, perhaps, nature's most spectacular feat, the creation of tailless frogs out of swimming tailed tadpoles. And speaking of swimming, fish could go nowhere without their tails. Their vertical design is optimal for forward movement. Some, on the other hand, move with a flat tail, which is as graceful as it is useful. We end with whale tails, the largest in nature. Their horizontal design 
produces the power behind these enormous mammals and proves to be yet another example of the essential role tails play in the lives of their owners. Tails provide us with the last word on adaptability and beauty of design, two hallmarks of success in the struggle for survival. Sometimes odd, always useful, tails are much more than nature's afterthought. In the end, whether swatting or swaying, bobbing or balancing, tails have the form and function to fit their owners. In tails, we see the sublime logic of life in the wild, where adaptation and variation lead to survival and provide us with a happy ending to our tale about tails. I'm Marty Stauffer. Until next time, enjoy our wild America.